Hi, this is John Polgreen from Architecting the Enterprise. Welcome. I'd like to thank the Open Group, who owns and maintains TOGAF, and also the Evolution Corporation, who has given several of the artifacts that are presented here. TOGAF has been providing the process behind enterprise architecture since 1996, and now with the release of TOGAF 9, it also provides the structure for EA with the advent of the meta model. Sitting on top of this meta model is the taxonomy of artifacts, which we see here. This is a fantastic tool which enables us to pick and choose over all, among almost 30 different artifacts depending on the needs of our stakeholders. So now I'm going to show you how we can use a few of these artifacts as we proceed through the TOGAF architecture development method, the ADM. Uh, first, we'll assume that you've done the preliminary phase, okay? You've set up your architecture practice, and now you're going into an individual uh, project. And here, uh, we're going to assume we've got a project with the ABC Motor Company, and they're trying to revise, improve their ability, their capability to handle complaints. One of the most important artifacts that's built during the vision phase is a solution concept diagram. And that's what we see here. So in the business architecture, we're going to do an as-is architecture, to-be architecture, and a gap analysis. And we need artifacts to uh, show our stakeholders for those. So uh, here is uh, one of the most interesting uh, artifacts in TOGAF 9, and that's a business footprint diagram. If you uh, go uh, to the big um, yellow boxes, those are the organizations, and then the uh, ovals up in the top are the high-level goals. Uh, the brown boxes are functions, and the green boxes are business services. And then finally, at the bottom, we see uh, applications. So what we're really showing here is a traceability from the highest level goals of our stakeholders down to the applications that they sit on. Very useful for uh, the highest level stakeholders. Here is a, a functional decomposition uh, diagram. We've got the various uh, organizations in the yellow boxes, and then orange boxes uh, uh, show the functions and subfunctions, uh, and then how they relate to the organizations. Uh, business service uh, information diagram uh, shows how information, in uh, the sense of high-level data entities, relate to business services. So here in uh, phase C, we're going to be considering uh, the application architecture and also the uh, data architecture. Let's look at a couple of application artifacts first. So here we have the uh, role to system uh, matrix where we've got our uh, roles from the business architecture across the top and then our applications uh, down the side, and then the uh, cells uh, show the relationship between those. Next, we have an, a system to function matrix. Here we have business functions across the top and applications uh, down the side and the relationship in the cell. Uh, application communication diagram. Uh, the blue boxes are the applications, and it shows how these applications relate to uh, the high-level data entities and also to the business services in green. The software engineering diagram 
shows how our applications decompose. This is very useful to give to software architects and developers uh, further on down the line. So for our data architecture, uh, we might uh, build something called a, a data entity to business function matrix, where we have our data entities across the top and our business functions along the side. And in the cells, we show the business services, the owners, and also the uh, operations that can be carried out. In this uh, um, case, the uh, create, read, update, delete. Uh, here we've got system to data matrix. Uh, we've got our data entities across the top and our applications down the side and then the CRUD operations in the cells. Data dissemination diagram. Here we've got data and uh, how it relates to applications, to business services, and also to uh, technology. The class diagram shows us how the data entities relate to each other and also uh, to uh, things like business services. In the technology architecture, we might have diagrams like the system to technology matrix, where we have our applications across the top, and then uh, our various infrastructure elements uh, down the side, and uh, in the cells, how they relate to each other. Environments and locations diagram uh, will show us the relationship between the uh, applications uh, in the blue boxes on the top, uh, the uh, uh, locations in the business architecture on the bottom, and then the various pieces of our infrastructure in the middle. Communications engineering diagram uh, shows us how uh, various pieces of infrastructure are connected together, how they communicate. So from here, uh, we finish technology architecture. Now we can uh, go on to the remaining phases of the architecture development method. Uh, there are fewer artifacts developed here, and uh, um, we won't be covering any more artifacts uh, in this presentation. So here again, uh, as a reminder, these are the artifacts uh, which are presented in the taxonomy of architecture artifacts. This is just the beginning. Uh, you can create more artifacts, you can create custom artifacts, but uh, uh, this is a very good beginning. So next steps for anybody uh, interested in what they've seen here, download TOGAF from uh, the open group. I've written a white paper uh, subject TOGAF for government but it is uh, um, very generic, so much of what I say applies to uh, any type of large organization. Also, you can uh, contact Architecting the Enterprise uh, um, if you're interested in TOGAP certification and training. Uh, they also do consult as well. Please uh, feel free to contact uh, me uh, with any questions regarding this contact, uh, sorry, content, or anything else uh, regarding Tokyo. Uh, thanks very much, and have a great day.